Hey, what's up, Anfinex? Techfinex here from AndroidRoots.com. With our Samsung Galaxy Nexus GSM, today's gonna be a great round review and very, very unique round review of Paranoid Android for your Galaxy Nexus GSM only. Please do not try this on the Galaxy or any other device except Galaxy Nexus GSM. Um, it'll only work for that one. You'll probably end up breaking your phone, or um, it'll just what it'll just in the clock mode we call it by just say won't compatible or something along the line of that. So only do try it on a GSM. But let's head down to settings. And you're probably right now. You're probably wondering why is everything looking so different. Um, well, I'll get into that in a little bit. Just let's just head into settings right away, first of all, and then we'll take a look into everything. So let me zoom in actually this time, just because everything is so small. But we will talk about that in a little bit. So it's running on 4.2, and you got every, all the other options as well. You can see the version as well if you would like that as well. Um, <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and talk about this ROM. Very, very unique ROM. Definitely, you tried this out. And I would say this is a very, very useful ROM for people who have bad eyes or have good eyes and want more, um, 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 you know, more uh, room for uh, icons and all that. So as you can see, everything is smaller. Everything is smaller and makes your phone feel even huger, even though how big the screen is. You know, all these uh, new Android phones are huge, and I'm loving it. <laughs> um, so let's go ahead, and as you can see, everything's small. You got everything small, icons, clock, everything, and um, except this. Um, so right away in uh, the 4.2 option, the um, toggles, I guess you could call it, is you have more options. Um, you have auto rotate, um, airplane mode, and Bluetooth mode, as well as um, that wasn't on stock when you first got 4.2, if you didn't notice that earlier. Let's head on to settings one more time, and I'll show you um, how to change all these settings and show you even more cool things. So let's go to hybrid properties tap on that and in here this is where all the magic happens this is where everything happens where you change your icons where you change your ppi everything everything cool happens in this so let's tap on interface and that's where basically i changed all the settings and that's how you got this so you have very very cool options to do this and no other rom in the android in the android world or android communities is even close to this very very cool and i'm really loving it i really do love this rom very very good so you have options right here you for uh, workspace you have options for phone phablet or tablet mode so uh, phone is phone uh, phablet is phone and tablet together and obviously tablet mode you have options for system apps user apps as well as um that's default and that's just um system apps as well you um other other options you have is um system apps you can change how big they get so if i do change it bigger then my apps will get bigger so you can see right now they're really small right now in the icons. Um, when I go into my app drawer, you can see they're very, very small. And I love this because it makes my life much more efficient than me um, switching through pages to find my um, um, the, the app I need instead of um, they're all on this page right here. So a lot, lot easier for me. So let's head down. Oh, sorry about that. Let's head back into settings and we'll take a look at some other things. So you have lock screen, you can change your status bar and user apps. So there's a ton of things to play with and no other ROM even competes with this. So I do love this ROM. Not saying other ROMs are bad, but I really love this ROM because of how unique it is. Um, very, very good. And also uh, Gmail and uh, apps as well are um, changed. So let's head down to Gmail right away and you'll be able to see it's on tablet mode or phablet mode as you can see. So if you do own an Android tablet, you'll be you'll notice that it looks exactly the same as a tablet even though I'm running on a phone. You have options for inbox and all the other tabs right there and you can see your email right away right here as well. And don't worry about it, guys, I will be responding to these emails. <laughs> don't don't worry. <laughs> So you have options here and when you actually do head down to YouTube you have those options as well of how small it is so You have uh, very very small you have options for you know It's much more smaller all the wording is smaller and this does work the other way as well So if you have bad eyes, maybe you're older or you just you just have crappy eyes from the beginning You can have to make these bigger and um, it will improve the, um, how you see it You can see the text a lot bigger so you don't have to be uh, constantly squinting or wearing glasses because um, I think because you're farsighted or close sighted. Okay, I don't know what it's called, but you get the idea. So very, very cool ROM. Um, very, I would highly recommend it. And the best part of it is, even the, even makes it better, is running on 4.2 Jelly Bean. I'm um, the, the latest one from Google as of now, as of this video. So you have these options right here as well. So that's about it, guys. Very, very cool. Ton of things to experience. Um, you have apps to go into, so if you want a specific app that you want to change, we'll do one more thing, then we'll wrap this video up. So let's say um, I want to change, let's go to a good one, let's go to, um, uh, let's go to uh, Google Play Store, tap on that. And then you have options for right here, current, and then you can change it to smaller. Oh, 
let's change the size oh I don't know what's okay there we go so we can change the size and we can apply it and um, some apps okay let's go ahead and apply it and now let's go see let's go back into the Google Play Store and see how the effect has unchanged so let's go into Play Store right there and it should be changed so it should be let's take a look at that so as you can see everything is a lot smaller now uh, the loading screen is a lot smaller um, as you can see, um, the, this is in, this is the same, but um, the loading screen was smaller. Um, at the top, you can see the little search bar and options are smaller as well. Very, very small to read. And obviously, like I told you, this can work the other way and make them a lot bigger as well, just in case you have bad eyes. This is a very, very good ROM if you have bad eyes. Or even if you have good eyes and you just want more um, apps and space per, or per square inch, I guess you could call it. But that's about it. Definitely check out Paranoid Android. Very, very cool ROM loving it um definitely gonna be using this ram for a while so definitely do check it out very cool fun ram to use and it's very practical to use in daily life as well thanks for watching guys don't forget to subscribe button right up there and give me a big old thumbs up in the bottom left corner of this video i really do appreciate you liking and subscribing every time i appreciate your support as well thanks for watching and don't forget to follow me like me and add me on twitter facebook and google plus thanks for watching guys i will see you next time and um as always, uh, the ROM of this link will be in the description below. So definitely click on that link and go ahead and download this ROM. Very, very cool ROM as well. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time. Peace.